Can you remind us again, when did you travel to the International Space Station and how long were you there for? Uh, I went uh, in 2015. I launched on the 15th of December on a Soyuz rocket from Kazakhstan and I was there for six months on board. But what we're talking about today is the fact that hopefully someone will be able to fill your shoes and we'll also get the opportunity to visit the International Space Station. There's a big recruitment drive happening. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, it's a really exciting time because the European Space Agency is going to select some new astronauts to join its core. So me and my five colleagues, we were selected in 2008, uh, but it's now time to look at those missions going from 2025 and beyond, where we'll still be operating the space station. But what's really exciting is we're about to embark on a new exploration program called Artemis, where we're going to be returning to the moon and in the future going on to Mars. So this astronaut selection, you know, could potentially have the first Europeans who are going to set foot on the moon and maybe even Mars. Break it down to us. I mean, how can you become an astronaut? So we're looking at people who've got a master's degree in uh, natural sciences or medicine, mathematics, computer science, engineering, those kind of STEM related subjects. Um, and we also want people to have a bit of experience actually doing you know their operational role you'll need to be fluent in English if you have a second language that's a benefit um, and we're really looking at not selecting people who are older than 50 so we're really trying to encourage women to apply to this as well uh, we want to increase the number of, of women in the European National Corps. What would make a really bad astronaut or someone that you just wouldn't want to share your time with on the International Space Station someone who shouldn't apply basically? So I think a really bad astronaut would be somebody who just doesn't get on with other people, that winds other people up because you need uh, over, you know, one quality above all else is you need to get on with people. <laughs>